New York, Billy Swenson is waiting for the call back. It's been about 11 months since he was furloughed from his serving job at a midtown Manhattan restaurant. At the beginning, the time away from work was a welcome break. Some days before the pandemic, he was on his feet for 12 hours, also working in catering when jobs arose. Now, things are dragging on. Unemployment does not scratch the surface of the money we used to make, he said. Sitting here making a quarter of what we used to make, that has been very stressful and there's been not much relief. Swenson is one of the thousands of workers in New York City's beleaguered restaurant industry hoping to get back to a semblance of normal as indoor dining in the city reopens this week. Last month, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that restaurants and bars could allow guests back inside at 25% capacity on Valentine's Day and then on Monday moved up the date to Friday. Governors and mayors elsewhere in the U.S. have also recently reopened or loosened restrictions on indoor dining, including in Philadelphia, Chicago, the Portland, Oregon, area, Maryland's Montgomery County and New Jersey. While new COVID-19 cases are on the decline in New York City, similar to the rest of the U.S., they remain at higher levels than when Cuomo shuttered indoor dining in early December, city data as of Wednesday shows. New York State has also reported at least 59 cases of the highly contagious B1.1.7 variant that originated in the UK, according to the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The CDC says the UK variant could become the country's predominant strain by March. COVID-19 spreads primarily through respiratory droplets during close contact with other people, but it can also linger in the air and spread when people are more than six feet apart in enclosed spaces with poor ventilation, the CDC says. As a result, public health experts agree that dining outside, with better airflow, has a much lower risk compared to indoors. But the return of indoor dining comes at a pivotal time in the industry's economic recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic as many restaurants remain holding on by a thin rope, workers, owners and advocates say. It's just been such a challenging situation, said Andrew Riggi, executive director of the New York City Hospitality Alliance. This is an economic crisis unlike any other we've had in the past. Swenson, 28, has been living in New York for about five years, also working as an actor. The pandemic has led to auditions drying up, too. Not only my serving job, and my survival job, is done but my passion and my career has all been halted, he said. However, Swenson knows he's been one of the lucky ones in the restaurant industry during this time. He was able to get unemployment benefits relatively quickly after being furloughed and has savings to help him get through.